Skyward Pride is probably going to be the top option that you can go for, but again, not very free to play friendly. Rain Slasher actually does a lot of work here, especially with its elemental mastery as its secondary stat. Have to call out Prototype Aminus once again because it's just freaking amazing. Both the Sacrificial Greatsword and the Favonius Greatsword are also great options, but for a very budget player, you could go with the Bloodstained Greatsword as well. In terms of artifacts, a four piece of the Noblest Oblige would probably be my top choice. A two piece of the Thundering Fury set plus a two piece of the Gambler set will actually help you do a lot of extra damage with their elemental skill. Or or a two piece of thundering fury and a two piece of noble oblige will help you do a ton of damage with her burst just remember as a support her burst is very expensive in terms of energy so energy recharge will be a huge factor here electro damage elemental mastery and attack are probably your next priorities as far as talents go i really think it depends on how you play beto if you chose the gambler set the one that increases skill damage definitely go with tide collar first if you increased your burst damage with noblest oblige definitely consider stormbreaker first as long as you do this one last you should be good